everyone in this video we will discuss what is the pancake sorting problem and so i just turn on the phone okay what is the pancake sorting problem well in this problem you are given a set of pancakes and the pancakes are at different sizes. Let's just say that a number will represent the size. So in this problem, what you're supposed to do is sort the pancakes. However, the only way you can sort them is by doing two operations. One is to select some of the pancakes from the top to somewhere in the middle and flip them or just flip the entire stack. Bill Gates had done a documentation on this problem. So how do you do this? First of all, let's discuss an algorithm. Well, let's say we're given a list of pancakes. Just a moment. Okay. How do you think we can sort this? Well, first of all, we can first sort the biggest pancake and put it at the bottom. How do you think we can do that? Well, we can first flip these four, which would give us five, two, three, one, and four. Then flip the entire thing to get four, one, three, two, and five. Look, we have five at the bottom. Now, four is already at the top, so we can just flip that to get two, three, one, four, and five. So four and five has been sorted and are now at the bottom. We do the same thing for the other pancakes. So how do we code a program that does this? Well, first let's start with a list of pancakes, pancakes list. And let's set it to all the pancake sizes from 1 to 9. I created the list in this order 3, 1, 4, 5, 9, 2, 6, 8, and 7. Let's first save the program. There we go. Next, let's just print the list just for comparison. Okay, now let's create a function that can take a set of pancakes, either the entire stack or just some pancakes, and flip it. Let's call it flip underscore pancakes, which takes the input, the list, and the number of pancakes to flip. N. Notice that I kept lists instead of list. This is because if I just kept list, it would be highlighted because it's a keyword. So I just kept this. So in inside the function, I'll keep a counter variable set to zero. Now we'll use a while loop to iterate. And the while loop will continue to iterate as long as count is less than n, the input. Now inside the while loop, we would take the array, I mean the list, the list of count, and the list of n, 
and set that equal to the opposite, the inverse, the list of n to the list of count. This should be counted. So notice that I use this format. Instead of creating two variables on two different lines, I can just put them all in one line and separating them using this comma. Note that in this case, the order is really important because they're all on one line and are separated by a comma. Now we'll just take n and minus it by one and then add one to count. This minus equal to and plus equal to are operators that takes a variable and adds some amount to it. In this case, I set it to one. Now let's just print the list. Now let's create another function to get the maximum index. That is, what is the index of the maximum size of the pancake? Let's call it max underscore index. The input would be the same as before, the list and n, the size of the pancake. Now what do we do? Well, we will set the variable index to zero. Then we'll use a for loop to iterate over n from the input. So for i in range n, then we use a if statement. So if the list of i is greater than the list of the current index, then we set index to i. What are we doing here? Here we're checking if the pancake at this current index is greater than the pancake of the previous index. If so, we'll just set the previous index to the current index and then we do it again. And then we'll return it. We'll return index. Now let's create the main function to sort the pancakes. There we go. That takes the input, the list. Inside the function, let's set pancake count to the length of the list we receive. Next, we use a while loop that iterates as long as pancake count is greater than one. Just note that if pancake count becomes zero, that means the whole list is sorted. Okay, so while pancake count is greater than 1, we will set a variable, maybe max index, equal to the function max index with the input list and the pancake count. Okay. There's one thing you have to note. Whenever you're defining a variable that has the same words as a function, make sure that the variable does not use the exact same punctuation that the function does. Otherwise, you'll get an error. Okay. Now, if max index is not equal to pancake count, then inside that, if so, we 
slip those pancakes and then flip the intestine. And then outside the if statement, but not outside the while loop, we set pancake count minus equal to one. That means we take one away from pancake. There we go, we created our function. Now let's just call it. Now let's run it. There we go. Look at that. Uh, we got the print from the flip pancakes function. Now notice here, we started with this. And then we ended with this. The pancakes have been sorted. It is, this program does the exact same thing that our algorithm does, except a little more efficiently. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it.